Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day eight of the Banjo Build Diary. So over the last week or so, I have been building this here Carver Banjo and obviously it's complete and playable and I've already actually done a song on it at this point. So um, really do like it. And uh, the one thing that I actually mentioned during the final assembly video is I thought the bridge was kind of high. I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up, but the action on it is fairly high when you get up towards those high frets. And there's a few different things you could do to remedy that. You could tip the neck a little bit, put a little back angle on the neck this way, and that would pull that down. So you could shim it here between the, the uh, dowel and the neck there. And you could probably do some things like that. But I took an easier route and I just went out and got one of these uh, Grover Banjo Bridge. And this one is um, significantly shorter than the one that's on there. So let's go ahead and swap it out and see if that improves the playability. But first, just given kind of a quick little um, assessment of what I've um, kind of, you know, over the past several days of being able to play this thing. And I really like it, guys. It is really a neat banjo. This is, again, the Americana kit from Carver Banjos. And um, I really like it. I was not sure how I was gonna feel about the friction tuners. And honestly, I'm not in love with them. Uh, they're, they're not bad. They actually hold the tune fine, but with the nylon strings that like to stretch so much, you're constantly adjusting them. Now, after those strings get broken in a bit, they might be a little better. For a hot minute, I thought about pulling it off and putting machine tuners on there, but I think I'm gonna stick with the um, friction tuners for a while, really give them a chance. The only one that really bothers me is this fifth string one because it doesn't seem to turn as smoothly as the other four. It might be just slightly out of round or something. Maybe I can take it back out of there and do a little sanding or something, but it doesn't seem to move very smoothly. So it's really hard to get that fifth string in tune. But these four, the other four seem to do pretty well. Um, the banjo's got a great tone. I really like the nylon strings that are on it. I really, really love the aesthetic of it. I just think it looks so cool with this leather tail piece and the friction pegs and everything. That's another reason I don't wanna change out the pegs is I really love the aesthetic. So anyway, the old, my only complaint, I guess at this point, is the action is pretty high. So I'm gonna see if swapping out the bridge fixes that. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I have the two bridges here. This is the bridge that came with the banjo and this is the bridge that I just got. And if I hold them next to each other, I'll try to hold them close enough here so you can see, hopefully, the camera will allow you to see that. The new one is significantly shorter, so it should help bring those strings down a little bit. However, and I'm not sure if this is going to be very apparent from the, from the camera angle, but you can see the slots that are naturally grooved in there line up just perfectly. So um, that is a nice little thing that the slots seem to match up perfectly. So I don't think we'll have any string spacing problems. So let's put this baby in and see if it makes a difference. Okay, the new bridge is in, and dropping that bridge down did bring the action down some. I'm not sure how well that's going to show up on the uh, video, but it did bring it down some. But honestly, it's still pretty high, um, higher than I'd like it to be. So I think if I wanted to lower it more, I would probably have to um, tip the neck, set you know, put a little bit of a back angle on the neck. I was thinking that I could probably go in back here where it attaches to the rim and I could probably elongate that hole a little bit and push the dowel up, but that seems kind of, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. So maybe I'll go with shimming it, but for now it's fine. I mean, it's playable, it plays good. Um, I, can, I can get decent action out of it and I'm really probably rarely if ever gonna use frets past here anyway. And one other note is, Instead of tuning this in standard open G banjo tuning, I actually drop it a step so it's open F. So it's, uh, let's see here, it would be F, C, F, A, C. I think that's right, yeah, F, C, F, A, C. So it actually ends up being an open F chord. And um, I tried it in open G and it works, um, but I think something about this drum, I think it just seems to sound a little better in that lower tuning. So I'm probably gonna keep it in that tuning for a while and try this bridge out for a while, but there you go. So there you go, guys. That was the uh, Banjo Build Diary, eight days of putting this thing together. And uh, I'll see you guys in an upcoming video.